design and implementation of full subtractor and you can see this is the truth table for the full subtractor and a b c are the three inputs and the outputs are difference and the borrow and we have to find a relationship of the difference in terms of a b and c and also borrow in terms of a, a b and c in to do that we have to use the kmap and therefore from the truth table we are constructing the kmap here and you can see the simplification also been shown here therefore difference we found the difference equal to ax or b x or c and borrow equal to complement of a into b plus complement of a into c plus b into c and that we are showing here in this relationship we are showing here in the circuit diagram you can see this relationship here shown here in the circuit diagram and we'll be implementing this in the lab in terms of only in the basic gate therefore this XOR gate will be replacing with the basic gate therefore we are, I am showing here the the diagram only with the basic gates and that will be implementing in the lab and for that we have to come to the lab let us come to the lab now we'll show the implementation of the full subtractor using the basic gate with the digital trainer kit now first you can look at that here this is the i have used the xor gate here and this is the after the designing we got it and i have shown here because the conversion from xor gate to the basic gate is simple you can see the another this is the with the basic gates and now we now we'll start the connections already you know the pin pins this is the uh, we'll use the 7408 and we'll use the 7404 and we'll use the 7432 and this is the pin diagram and you will use that now at the first first one you can look at that here from a from a you can look at that from a it is going to I am creating A here. You can look at that. I am creating A here, and the, the, this is the input side. This is the output side. I am creating A here, and from A it is going to the NOT gate. This is the NOT gate, and before I am telling you, this is the this 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 is AND gate. This is also AND gate, and this is an OR gate. This is a NOT gate. Now from A it is going to the first is going to the input to the NOT gate. Then output is, output to the NOT gate is coming to output of the NOT gate is, is, is you can look at that is 2 is coming is coming to the AND gate the first AND gate it is coming this is the first AND gate it is coming the 1 one and 2 are the input therefore I am con connecting the 1 therefore again you can see and from another this another B I am creating a B here B input a B and it is coming to the another input to the uh, you can see another input to the AND gate and output of the AND gate, this is the 3, output of the AND gate is going to the, you can see, is going to the OR gate, input to the OR gate. Therefore, 1, in, one and 2, again 1 and 2 is the input and the 3 is the output. Therefore, and therefore you can see the first uh, AND gate is over. Now coming to the second AND gate, if you can come to the second AND gate, you can look at the, from A again, it is coming from A, it is coming from A, it is going to the input to the second you can you can see it is going to the second AND gate therefore second AND gate 4 and 5 is the input I am connecting the 4 connecting the 4 and then you coming and then you can see here uh, again you can see from B B has to be complemented therefore first therefore I am connecting here B connecting here B and then has to be complemented by the NOT gate by the NOT gate, another NOT gate I am using. The input is input is three, and output output is four. Then out output is four. And then is that is that you can see the output is four. It is coming to the input to the in, input to the AND gate. It is coming to the input to the AND gate. Now you can see. Now you can see the output output of the second AND gate. That is six. That is six. That is six is going to the is, is going to the input to the OR gate input the OR gate therefore 1 is already given that we input the OR gate I'm, is 2 and 3 is the and you can see this is the 3 3 3 is the output of the OR gate 
output of the OR gate and that has to be connected uh, and we'll continue the connections. We'll connect the output of the OR gate. First we have, we have to give, give it to the input to the NOT gate and output of the NOT gate will be connected to another AND gate. The uh, gate number gate number 3 AND gate in the same IC. Now we are, we are coming, I am coming, coming to the connections. You can see this is the output of the OR gate. It will be given to the another NOT gate. This is the another NOT gate 5 and 6 is the output. You can 6 is the output and and this 6 you can look at that this is the 6 is the output and this will be has to be given to the AND gate third AND gate then you can look at the third AND gate we I am using here that that is the 9 and 10 10 are the input and 8 is the output therefore I, I can give 9 I can give it 9 here and here already I told this numbering in the right hand side are changed because it is a 14 pin IC now this this I have given and then another input from C another variable you can have to see another I have already A and B is there another variable C and from that from that it will be coming to the another input to the the third AND gate that is the input to the third AND gate is the 10 and then then it will then uh, the output of the output is 8 output is 8 and here already I told numbering is changed in the right hand side out because of 14 pin therefore 8 will go to the OR gate the second OR gate this is the second OR gate again 4 and 5 is the input you can look at the 4 and 5 is the input and and 6 is the output and that way will continue our only one gate is remaining we will continue that and see the output the last gate was uh, is remaining I completed that and difference has been created now you can come to that uh, you can you can come to that difference I have put that this is the difference I have put now we have to proceed for a borrow you can look at that now we have to proceed that a borrow we can we can proceed uh, about the now connection for the borrow is a very very similar connections and we we'll use that three variable ABC and we use the uh, not gate and another here is the important thing is that already we have adjusted the first IC for AND gate therefore we require another another three AND gate and that will be in the second IC therefore you come to that here this is the AND gate I put uh, here and that is when all the four gates are adjusted and therefore I am coming to the this second IC therefore uh, gate number one two three will be used for uh, that borrow will be used for a borrow and there and and we do not require any extra second IC for OR gate we do not require we do not require even for a NOT gate also therefore this is the second IC for a AND gate 7, 7408 and we will continue the we will continue the connections and we, after completion we will see the output I completed the connection for borrow also and already I told this three AND gate will be in the second IC and this this one I have taken as a gate number 3 and this is the fourth and the OR gate is the if the fifth and sixth therefore in the same therefore now after connections we will verify the uh, truth table now you can see uh, here this is this is A B C you know and that is already I shown you this is the this is the difference and this is the borrow the second one is the right hand side is the uh, borrow. Now you can see that according to the truth table if all three are zero therefore both are zero difference difference and borrow both are zero. Now you can see I just switch on the C as per the truth table if you the second row you can see if it is a if it is uh, C is equal to 1 and A and B equal to 0 both difference and borrow should be 1. Therefore I just uh, I just switch on the C you can look at that I am switching on the C and therefore borrow and difference uh, both should be 1 and you can look at that both are becoming 1 therefore uh, our second row is, is verified now you can see I if I now I switch off that now I, you can see if the B equal to 1 if the B equal to 1 and A and C are both are equal to 0 and that case also difference and borrow both are equal to 1 now let us let, let me uh, switch on the B here is the B here is the B and therefore borrow and you can look at that borrow and this uh, 
and the difference both should come to be one and you can look look at that both are becoming one in this way you should verify the each and every row that means even every entry in the truth table and you can, in that way you are you are realizing the truth table in the digital ic trainer kits and that is the that, that is all all about your uh, full subtractor